Hey guys, this is Dr. Ennis in Boca Raton, Florida. Today we're going to talk about a lip lift and what happens with a lip as it ages. So today we're going to talk about the upper lip and what happens as it ages. As we get older, the upper lip begins to roll under. Unfortunately, if you, the lip is rolled under and people have this long upper lip and they try to get fillers, it just pushes it forward and it looks like a duck and really nobody likes that look. And everybody says, oh, that looks terrible. I don't want my lips done. Well, what they didn't realize is they're trying to treat the wrong problem. They don't need to fill the vermilion, they need to shorten the lip. So let's use this uh, lady as an example. And here you'll see how her upper lip has gotten longer as we get older. So as it's gotten longer, the upper lip has begun to roll under here. So what we have to do is just shorten or lift the upper lip here. And this is called a bullhorn lip or an upper lip lift. And there's several other cliche terms for it, but those are the more common. It's done through a little small incision right up under the nose where we take out a small amount of tissue like this in the shape of a bullhorn and lift the lip. So everything is lip lifted here. So you can see she has that nice pretty upper lip now. And there's no fillers added to this lip. It's only done by shortening the upper lip. And this picture is probably three to four weeks post-op and you can see there's almost no scar at all. So it's a quick recovery. Uh, it looks great, it works great, and it fixes the aging upper lip so that we avoid that it's overdone duck lip look that nobody likes.